mountainous palindromic subarray. That is a mouthful of a name for a problem which is one of the easier problems in our set this year. The problem is this. Given an array of integers, find the length of the longest subarray that is a palindrome and which is also mountainous, which means that it rises and then falls. Uh, given that example, you'll notice in that example there's one, two, three, two, one. That is a palindrome. It rises and falls. It's of length five, and that is the longest such thing that you'll find in that array, and so five would be the correct answer for that array. And here is a solution. We are going to go linearly through the array looking for the summits of the mountains. Now, remember that uh, a subarray to be mountainous has to be of length at least three. It, the summit has to have a slope on either side of it. So the first element and the last element cannot be summits. So if we're looking for summits, we have to start at one since we, we are zero based, and we have to stop one before the end. Now we're going to find an offset, and we're going to look up and down by that offset. If we go off the array to the top, if we go off the array to the bottom, if we reach two elements that aren't the same, which means it's no longer a palindrome, or if the lower one is greater than or equal to the next one up, which means that it's not mountainous, it's not the right slope, we're going to break. And you'll notice we break on failure, so offset is going to be one greater than the actual offset that forms the, the mountainous palindromic subarray. So, it must be at least three in length to be mountainous. The count is two times that offset minus one. If you consider our previous uh, answer, our previous example, uh, three, two, one, and then one further, that would be, uh, it would go one, two, three before it fails. Two times three minus one is five, and that is the correct length. The, uh, so we need for that count to be greater than two because it's got to be at least three to be mountainous. We need it to be larger than the longest one we found so far in order to say that this one is the longest. So after that, we're going to simply print the longest. And if you think about this uh, very hard, you'll see that no element is going to get looked at more than about three times. And so even though we're doing multiple things per element, it is prorated order n. And so no matter what the length of the array is, with the length that was given in the input, this algorithm is going to finish in plenty of time. And that is the solution to MPS.